Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to perform nodal analysis in a gas well that will be equipped with foam lift. Right, so we will do the analysis using Prosper software and we are now inside the Prosper. So you can follow me. First, we go to the section. Okay, for the fluid, we will select dry and wet gas method black oil. All right, so for the separator, single stage separator, PVT warnings, disable warning, and for the water viscosity, use default correlation. All right, and for the water vapor, we use this one, calculate condensed water vapor. All right, and then for the flow, flow type, tubing flow, of course, and then for the well type, producer. For the artificial leaf method, later on we will go to foam leaf, but first we will start with natural flow. So we select none. All right, so you can also type in the company, field, location, well, and so on and so forth in these sections. And for the calculation type, we will go for the offshore model rough approximation. And then for the range, full system, brine properties correlation default, type cast hole, send control none. And for the inflow type, we select single branch. Okay, from here, we'll go to PVT. And okay, we can go for the PVT section. You can follow my data for the gas gravity 0.58. Separator pressure 200, PSIG, and then for the condensate gas ratio 1, for the condensate gravity 50 API. So, it of course, it's condensate, it's light. So, the API degree will be high. Water gas ratio, it's quite high 100 stock tank barrel per day per MMSCF. All right, and for the water salinity. Let's assume 100,000 ppm, mole percent of H2S0, carbon dioxide 0 0.5 in percent, and for the nitrogen, 2. And we will model the gas viscosity using Li et al. correlation. All right, and now in this data, other data option, we will use use default correlation. Okay, and then for the water vapor, calculate condensed water vapor. And then for the reservoir data, you can follow me. For the reservoir data, reservoir temperature will be 165 with reservoir pressure of 1,200 PSIG. Okay, and then for the water vapor data, it will be calculated automatically, but you can check the water vapor plot by clicking this button. Okay, so you can see the saturation WGR, water gas ratio, against pressure for several temperatures. Right, you can see we go from 60 degrees, 77.5, and then 95 through 165 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, it's an important plot, of course, WGR, water gas ratio against pressure for each temperature. So it's, it's an important plot for us in this analysis. Okay, done. And we can calculate and we provide the range. Let's say for the temperature, we will go from 60 degrees Fahrenheit through the reservoir temperature, 165. Number of steps, 10. And for the reservoir pressure, we go from 200 maybe through the reservoir pressure. Number of steps, 10. Gas viscosity using Li et al. And we calculate. Okay, this is the results. 
important results, temperature, pressure, gas density, gas viscosity, gas formation volume factor, Z factor, water density, water viscosity, water formation volume factor, including interfacial tension, okay, IFT, pseudo pressure, Okay, this is the liquid gas IFT, oil gas interfacial tension, and so on and so forth. You can also plot. Of first, you can copy and paste on your spreadsheet, and then you can plot, let's say, against the pressure. So we have several temperatures, okay? And for the temperature of the reservoir temperature, Let's say we want to check the gas formation volume factor. So this is the plot. What about the gas viscosity? This is the plot, right? And then removal, pseudo pressure, all right? And the interfacial tension, liquid, oil gas, water gas, oil and water, all right. So it's a very, very important analysis, the PVT analysis, of course. So we have done the PVT analysis for this gas system, right? Yeah, okay, and then including gas density. All right, remove all. Okay, done, done, done. All right, so we have completed the PVT analysis for dry and wet gas system, right? You can see, and from here, we will go to our IPR data section.